a second test to see if our audio is uh, any bit louder. This is a new program that we're using, a new advanced program. Just trying to set the audio so that we are louder than the game in the game music. So it looks like it's still pretty quiet, even when I play around with this. Okay, how about that? Well, that bumped it up just a little bit, so that's good. Hello! The voices are very quiet. Okay, let's switch from the slideshow to this. Hey guys, we're still playing around with... Why are you are you frozen? Probably. Why are you that frozen? Looks so sad. Oh, because the oh. camera died. Why did the <laughs> camera die? Oh no! Because the battery died too. But the battery's fully charged. Ah. That's on silly. Pops on those batteries. I don't know why I had it fully charged and ready to go. Okay, while I play around with the, vo with the voices, um, how's our? <laughs> you guys were still a bit low and it's still pretty quiet. That's funny. Let me check the, my microphone. Maybe that's a problem. I think we turned that down or something. Well, I have it at what we usually have it set to. So let me switch the level and the input to. Okay, now that's set up 10 decibels. Oh boy, that's... How's that? Is that that's... super loud now? <laughs> that audio looks more promising, and I know that once we like really get going, if we're going to be laughing and screaming loud, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that won't be a good thing. Okay, how's that? Well, that's a little bit better. Yay. How does that sound? Is that good? That's better? That's good. Okay, well, let's get... Let's get to, oh. Yeah, <laughs> let's get Tess back on camera. <laughs> nice. Hello. Oh dear, now I have to edit all right. I'll have to edit this live, that won't be fun. Oh, well. Hello. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I wanted the remote live view window. Ah. Remote. That one. Try that instead. Okay. No. Is that working? No. Oh. Well, it was worth a try. I have to reset it all, huh? Just a great big bummer. Well, hey, that looks promising. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Yay. We might have to make that work. <laughs> Sweet. All righty. <laughs> You're eating peanut butter pie? I want some. That sounds delicious, sounds actually. Sounds wonderful. Uh, let me do a quick switch over to our uh, gameplay to make sure that... <laughs> Cover that up. Okay, <laughs> that works too. That's fantastic. Yay. Shall we actually get started for real? Let's turn I our think volume we should. down. Although it's nice Wait, to have there... music. Wait. There's just a mute button. That's great. Let's put. Let's use that mute. 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 <laughs> mute button. Put it on mute. Let's introduce ourselves for real. Yes. A Kit Kat and some chips. That sounds like a great Nancy, snack. Nancy Drew Rocks 28. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm Little Jackalope, as you have been watching for the past few minutes <laughs> of the Amateur Sleuth Blog here today with Tess. And we are playing Nancy Drew Trail of the Twister. Hooray! The 22nd Nancy Drew game. And this was actually the first game that I, uh, I got started on uh, while I'm working for Fern Interactive. So Ooh. I was an intern while this game was getting launched. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh my goodness. That sounds really delicious. Yeah, I know. I want peanut butter now, too. <laughs> Todd is your favorite game, Mystery Detective? That's awesome. I don't know. Well, then you're in luck. Way to, way to pick a good stream to join in. And it is right, just the right season, too, to be playing this game. Is anybody here in the Midwest experiencing, I don't know if it's still too early for, it might be tornado season. 
Yeah, it's yeah. August, so yeah, tornado season. So like Oklahoma or that general area. Anybody, <laughs> anybody from that area? Mm. Yeah. Coco Kringle, you saw the podcast? Yay! Yes, check out, if you guys haven't, <laughs> she was interviewed on our podcast, the Unlocked podcast, which you can see, uh, see yeah. on our YouTube channel, but also in iTunes. Yeah, so there's there's a whole bunch. Um, Tammy Tucky does all these interviews with all kinds of people. So if you haven't checked out any of the podcasts, definitely do that because there's some really interesting stuff from voice actors to behind the scenes stuff. So you should check those out because they're cool. Could you do me a grand favor? Yes. I printed out the Easter egg list and it's still on the printer. Can you guys fetch that real quick? I can. I'll go over the basic rules so you don't miss <laughs> anything. All right. Yeah, a Sounds couple. Of, yeah, we've got some Easter eggs too that we're gonna be finding throughout the day. We're gonna be playing until uh, we're gonna have another hour and a half or so, um, and we're gonna have an intermission halfway through. So that'll be about a five or ten minute intermission break. And today we are giving away a prize. Uh, in case you miss any of the stream, which I mean, if you're here, you're listening to my message right now. But we will have this up on YouTube later. Um, we'll be playing today, tomorrow, and next week, Thursday and Friday. A couple of rules before we get started. Please do not give away any spoilers, and that includes if something's about to happen, don't tell us what's going to happen, or culprits for any of the games. Unless we're actually encountering the culprit right now, then uh, then you can talk about that person, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but before it happens, yes. it's definitely a no-go. Thank go. you for that. Yeah. I'll take that. And I also have a little cheat for us. Ooh. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, because Trail of the Twister has paw pennies hiding all over the place. Oh. I have a cheat sheet that was used behind the scenes by our production team so that we could find it if we were testing it. You can barely see, but they put like a little dot oh. where it's located. So it's there, here. And it's like, mm. it's really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Here, yeah, here. So you can barely see it. It's really so hard funny. to see, but so that we can get all of them, and I'll try to check them off as we get them. So perfect. He, he, you'll you'll be. You want to play today? Sure. I'll play tomorrow. Sure. We have a drinking game just for fun, y'all. Yes, we do. Yes. Um. So, uh, what do you have to drink today? I've got a Starbucks Frappuccino. Shameless promotion. Ooh, with a mocha. Yeah. What do you have? I've got my favorite Snapple drink, Mango Madness. <laughs> it's madness, I tell you. Yes. Utter madness. And just for fun, we take a drink every time you see Paw, <laughs> hear Paw, or see Paw's name written out. Paw pennies count if we're looking at them up close. Mm -hmm. But if we're just finding them all over the place, this doesn't, I mean, you can take a drink if you want, but whatever. Yeah. But that's, it's just for fun. So what do you guys have to drink? Yeah, I see ginger ale for Alice in Wonderland. Nice. Starbucks by Action. Iced Ooh. chai for Wendy Bird. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Prize, yes, thank you for keeping me on track, oh, yeah. everybody. <laughs> I get so distracted, my <laughs> scatterbrain. Today's, oh, well, first of all, I need to go over the prize for next Friday. Yes. Not tomorrow, but next Friday. You can start partic participating now. Any time between now and next Thursday, thurs next week's Thursday, the 16th, is the deadline, end of day, to enter. What you gotta do, what you gotta do is take a selfie <laughs> of yourself watching the stream. And if you don't have time to do it during the stream, um, you can replay Trail of the Twister on our YouTube channel and just have it up on the screen and then take a selfie then. Yeah. And you can pick your favorite scene and pause it or whatever. But um, what you need to do is after you take that selfie, you need to post to Facebook or Twitter, our Facebook page or our Twitter account, and use the hashtag NDTwitch mm -hmm. to enter. So tweet it at us and, or post it on our Facebook page for your chance to enter. One entry per person, and we will randomly select a lucky winner on Friday. Yes. This contest, little selfie contest, uh, is open and international as well. And the prize for this is the uh, Coco Kringle Pop Socket, which is uh, more fun to play with than actually use. <laughs> but it's, it's yeah. both practical and fun. And yes. it's cute. 
root so. beer for tattoo girl. This pop socket is meant for um, any kind of tablet or device. You stick it on the back of your phone so you have better posture for your hands. Exactly. Because especially yes. if you have those bigger phones that allow you to the watch. Fab tablets. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's pretty nice. I'm actually going to get one because I just got a new phone. But Nice. Yeah. I can't really use it on this phone because it's textured. It's like a diamond texture thingy. Yeah. But, but it looks really cool, though. But so. uh, maybe just for the fun of it, I might... Uh, I might buy a collection of these although since I've got the artwork I could just print it out <laughs> and frame each picture that we have but yeah you can get these pop sockets on our Amazon in Amazon uh yeah the link is on our website so you can yes. find it that way yeah but this is to the winner of the of the selfie yes twitch the indie thing. twitch selfie so, yeah so you get it for free yes in action pop sockets <laughs> yes so that's for that um, which you can participate right now with, anyways. Uh, today's prize, today's prize is this, and it's op only open to U.S. residents only. Yeah, sorry. sorry, guys. Oh, I got smudge on it. <laughs> this is the Nancy Drew celebrating 88 years of Nancy Drew mug, mm -hmm. exclusive to this year only. Because, oh yeah, 88 years. 88 years of uh, April. Was when the first Nancy Drew books were released. Mm -hmm. So, so we made. Years, go ahead, sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say in two years it'll be ninety. But in yeah. two years we'll be ninety. But this is a special mug for just this year. So, and it's only open to um, domestic people who are or people in the in the country because <laughs> <of> shipping. <laughs> stuff, so domestic. sorry. But yeah, domestic, you know, that's what it always used to say when, when you print out labels I live, and stuff. I live like a caveman. Does that make me not qualified? <laughs> I'm not domestic at all. <laughs> domestic or wild. So yes. If you're wild, then yes. I guess then you shouldn't be having this. I don't know. But it's, yeah, it's a good, it's a quality mug for all of you domestic people. who Domestic yeah, people. You know. But anyway. I don't understand why it's still so quiet. I mean, it even shows it's like it's quiet. it's peaking just a little bit too. Hello, are you still here? It's Echo. quiet, quiet for a few people. Uh, we don't sell those anymore. Um, we're in the middle of looking for new merchandise partners. Mm -hmm. Let me up this just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we find one, though, we will definitely let you guys know. Yes, yeah, and I will get to those. working on that. But in order to win this prize. It's got my name written underneath. <laughs> uh, in order to win this prize today, we are looking for a keyword. Mm -hmm. So uh, nobody knows what that keyword is. In fact, I'm going to write it down. Actually, I told you, but I'm going to forget it because <laughs> paw is a keyword today. Mm. Yeah, not, not the secret keyword, but the the paw is the drinking one. Word. That's so the drink the... keyword. The drink keyword is paw. The prize yes. keyword is a mystery, and no one knows but us. Mm -hmm. what that is what was it that I said earlier it was this yes that was the yeah yes, you can't see my notes <laughs> but uh, in order for you guys to hit that keyword you obviously got to be chatting in chat so yes. ask questions comment on things I see come up on the game uh, someone's about to, someone will be bound to say it as yeah. we get going into this stream today yeah it'll definitely come up naturally I think we've delayed our game playing long enough. Let's see if we can actually get this thing to work. So, let's on do our this. Handy dandy headphones. Woo! I almost put mine on. You have backwards. enough? You have enough? Oh, yeah. yeah I got, I mean, I got like... plenty of leverage. Okay, because we need to do some like, 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 head thingy. Yeah, yeah like that. Uh, Ooh. I'll go away. How's the audio on this? Is it peaking? Good? Hear us? It is peaking. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Hmm. That's a good question, Action. I don't think we've ever had a stream where no one said the keyword. I don't think that's happened yet. Well, it has happened, but there was one time oh, where really? we had to encourage it at the end oh. the, to tell people, "Hey, what was this that happened at oh. that point once upon a time?" I forgot about that one. Game audio sounds good for y'all. Okay, all right. If it sounds at it sounds at all terrible, just you tell us in the chat. Okay. Yes. Actually, I'm gonna bump up the chat uh, view just a little bit so I can see it a little bit better. Ah, uh, good call. 
Let's do that. So I can read it. <laughs> PG Crawlers oh. hired me to investigate a series of equipment meltdowns that had been plaguing the prominent Oklahoma Storm Research Team he sponsors. Since his team has been expected to win the $100 million grant at stake in the upcoming Green Sky Storm competition, Krollmeister suspects that there is something. Sorry. <laughs> Far more sinister than simple equipment failure going on. I'll be joining the team undercover, replacing their previous intern, Pete, who wound up with a broken leg after one of the accidents stranded him directly in the path of a storm. Stepping in at the most dangerous and chaotic period of the ch She's still pretty quiet. Okay, let me bump this up a little bit more. How about this? season, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me to stay on top of the sabotage and the storms. Is that good? There's a lot of fine-tuning. So, just, <laughs> just so you know, for those of you who are into Twitch streaming, I have uh, an upgraded computer with an upgrading operating system, so I had to get the new and regular running OBS to, to stream all this stuff. However, the new OBS is a little bit overpowerful for the Nancy Drew games, so trying to balance everything is a little bit wonky. Mm -hmm. Is that a little too loud? The volume is better, 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 better. It's a little loud for a Nancy on point. We'll just have to make sure we talk loud enough. Let me take a look at... Uh, what this is doing here. Well, it looks like our voices are definitely um, being picked up. Getting picked up a little bit better. Yeah. I'm on Windows 10 now. Okay, so PG Krollmeister, we're hired by him. You guys remember PG Krollmeister? Uh, he's a big, big, big brand name. Mm hmm. Lots of technology stuff in the industry. So his technology, his equipment that he's provided for these storm chasers are not working well, and he wants to uphold his reputation. It's like, Nancy, find out why my stuff isn't working. Because <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. It should be, everything should be A-OK, -okay, especially if you're watching yeah. tornadoes. So we're, we're suspecting sabotage. Joining the team undercover, replacing their previous intern, Pete, who wound up with a broken leg after one of the accidents. After one of the accidents, threatened him directly in the path of the storm. So, Pete was the intern before Nancy. I guess this makes Nancy another intern. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps interning. Uh, yeah. Hello, Hysteria Rogers. Welcome to your first stream. <gasps> your first one? Congrats. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Let's have a tour. <laughs> yes. All right. Poor Pete. He had a broken leg. No. Shall we? Way to go, Pete. We're going to play Junior just for the sake of time. Yeah. It's a weird piece of debris. I mean, debris Whoa! Could be anything. It's filled with money. Holy cow! Hey. It's been an amazing job. Thanks. Payment and closed. Bummer days. I better take this and see who it belongs to. We don't care how you score. Tornado. <laughs> you say tornado, I say tornado. Let's go. Um, also, there's a stack of papers in the dining room that needs to be filed away in the cabinet. You'll have to use my ordering system, but I've left notes for you on how it works. 
You want to drive down the street. Come on, pause. Pa, pa. Take a drink. General store beat. Pa. Mm -hmm. There's a GPS in the car. You'll like him. He's quite the character. Thanks what? for filling in last notice. I look forward to meeting you in person, Debbie. Pa apparently is quite the character. Aww. Seems so, so meta. Ah. Let me in. Okay. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! We oh. got a Pa Penny! We have, we have a Pa Penny. We can buy the lamp. Okay. Yeah. Previously on Attorney General. I never asked to be a four-star general. And I never asked to fall in love with you. <laughs> That's awesome. That sounds like something I would love to watch. Oh, 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 there was, there was, there was, and then there's one right there. I found wait, another one. Wait, where? There's, uh, there's one on the couch, wait. right by the pillows. Uh -huh. and then there was one in the TV thingy, right by the plug. Got it. Yeah. Okay. There are three more in this area. Okay. We'll be on the way. You can't take that one? Work, work, work. It's over the book. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Yay! That was a lot. Right, let's see. Can we take anything away? Yeah. Is anybody else here just when you see a penny on the ground? Do you go after it? Like, Look, a penny! Because I do. I still have the little joy of finding free monies. It is kind of exciting, you know, like you find a quarter. Or you Quarters find... are really exciting. Yes. Because there are a lot of pennies, but you don't see as many quarters. You see this real quick. Well, yeah. A few oh. people are saying the game is really bad. Oh, no. Just turn it down just a little bit. Is that better, guys? Okay, we'll try that. I love thunderstorms. We don't get enough here in Washington. No. If we're lucky, we will have one thunderstorm a year. It's pretty. It's pretty uncommon. It's kind of yeah. It's such a tame state. Well, on the on the west side. Yeah. On the you fan. found twenty dollars on the ground, Danicon. Wow. Sweet. Talk about a lucky day. And and twenty dollars on the beach, Nancy on Point. That's awesome. My dad found 20 bucks on the ground um, after a movie ended while we were in this movie theater. And we're like, great, let's go get ice cream. <laughs> oh, oh, I found one. Apparently there's one right over there. What the, what the, what, <laughs> what, where, you're there. Like, yes, in the, in the, the, the best Wait, bucket. Where did you see it? It was right there by the little, <laughs> whatever this is. I don't know what that is. It looks like, really? like a tape dispenser or... Like a mini fan? I can't tell. Were you up close to it, or were you far away from it? I was like, kind of like in this general. Oh, you were? Okay, so yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got it. I got it. It's like, what? All right, let's see. Let's file some stuff. Yeah, let's do the things. Okay, let's see. S arrow is immediately next to crazy R. Big circle is left of the three circles. And the parentheses thingies are to the right of the ice cream cone. Three circles are immediately next to the crazy R. The ice cream cone is next to the big circle. Three circles are left of S arrow. Parentheses thingies are immediately next to the circle. Okay. Should be should be simple. Okay. So let's see. It's immediately, immediately, immediately. Okay. That thingy is immediately next to that thing. What is this? It's the left of this. Immediately next to. Immediately next to. Okay. Um. So, this thingy has to be in the middle of stuff. Let's see. Yeah, this is a logic puzzle. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like logic puzzles, because you actually have to think real hard. They are fun. They are. They feel very rewarding once you get it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. It's really next to... Really next to this. Well, what kind of Chinese food did you get, Lollipop Cutie? I had Chinese food on Sunday. I had chow mein and general sauce. Sounds delicious. I'm gonna just start placing things. Okay. To the left of the three circles. And that's immediately next to crazy R. 
and it's to the left of the S theme. Um, that's immediately next to the big circle. Let's see. Okay, so the ice cream cone and the backward parentheses thingies are immediately next to this. So this has to be surrounded by those two. And if this is to the left of this, then yeah. So at least as far as, I don't know where they go here, but at least in regards to each other, they're, like, they're all right next to each other. Okay, so this is to the right of the ice cream cone. This doesn't seem right. You know what? We're still figuring it out. It's okay. And then that is immediately next to the circle. What? How is that possible? Wait. Just to the left of this. Wait. Oh. What? That sounds amazing. I like that scary. Can you say, can you eat a bite for me? The sweet and sour chicken. That's like my one of favorites. Um, I, I totally disagree. I don't think you should get a Hawaiian pizza. I think you should get a Canadian bacon pizza and then get a whole fresh pineapple to eat on the side. <laughs> but that's just me. Are you talking about combining pineapple and pizza? She's talking about having a Hawaiian pizza. Well, I mean, you can do that, but... You can do that, yes. But, I mean, it's it just makes you a bad person, you know. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm totally kidding, but... If you enjoy Hawaiian man. pizza, by all means, you order that pizza. Go for it. And that you means, enjoy that yeah. pizza. And there'll be more for you, so... Yes. Really. Okay, so the left of this thingy. So this is just all over the map. This <laughs> doesn't seem right. That's the spirit cadaver freak. <laughs> okay, so this is immediately next to this. This is immediately next to this. Okay, now they're right. Okay. So then, this is the left of this, yes. S is immediately next to R. That's not true. So what we're gonna do. Uh, Lollipop Cutie, yes. uh, yeah, they just went live today. There are a few. The Trail of the Twister game desktop icon, that little t purple twisty twister, that is on a t-shirt now. And it's also on a pop socket, so you can get that. We also just launched Licky Lou Lollipop candy um, on a t-shirt and a pop socket as well. And, um, what was the other one? I think Auntie's Acorns is gonna make the list for Pop Socket. I forget which one's All actually. right, got it! Yay! Yeah. Hooray! Okay, good, so we filed stuff. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, I gotta put them away. That's the R. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. This is the big circle. Okay, who all here in chat likes pineapple on your pizzas, along with Dragon Rider and Cadaver Freak? Hmm, looks like garbage. Yeah, Don't need this. Come on, oh, take a drink, pa, oh. pa, Hello. corn bag. Uh -huh. All right, so they got three corn bags. They got three corn bags, everybody. And there's a pile of corn. Ah! Mice! I agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. But you know, oh, those are the cute mice, though. Oh! oh I found a pile of money in the oh. corner! It was sitting in the corner, just chilling there. Wait, look at the uh, back up. There should be one, like, right around here. No, maybe not. Okay, maybe they moved it in the logic. Okay. But we got it. Okay. Crossing that out off my list, too. All right, well, cool. So now we're up to 18 paw pennies. 18 paw pennies. 18 little ones. Okay, let's see. And then, can you take any of the corn? Oh, oh, in the corn, in the corn. Corn. In the corn husks. Wait, and there's, there's three. No there should be three in that scene. Okay, let's see. Found, I found two of them. Oh, oh, found the other one. Two Yay. in the corn and one in the corn basket. Yay. Wow. We went from 18 to 40. We're doing Huzzah. great. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nancy on point. Nancy is scared by a mouse, but by other monsters and ghosts sounds... Uh, no, she's not. Uh, let's see anything in here. Wait, what did she tell us to do? Um, let's check off... Still have to do that. Take the twister quiz, okay? Cool. Which twister are you like? 
What year were you born? Let's see. Um, let's see. Is there anything over here? Oh, you can connect your phone. So I bet if you have. Cool. So there's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Is that where the tornado starts or something? That and that, all these beautiful, beautiful photos. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's fun. Those weather pictures. So many. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> there's some weather pictures. <laughs> oh, we have to gallery. Ooh, Ooh that's it cool. looks like Again. the sun is like shooting off like a firework. Mm hmm. Shoot. Bad. Okay, so now we're gonna take some Trister Twivia. We don't know anything. That's okay. We haven't researched anything. Let's see if I can remember from the last time I played this game, which was <laughs> forever ago. Actually, go ahead and shout out what the answers are, you guys. I think it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see. The Weather Service will issue what type of alert when a tornado has been spotted? A tornado alert. What does that mean? Ah! Uh, tornado arrival? Tornado see. warning. Yeah! yeah! Tornado warning means the tornado has been confirmed on the ground that the Doppler radar is showing circulation where a tornado should form. Tornado watch is issued when conditions for tornadoes after severe weather to form are possible. Have a weather radio on hand in case the power goes out. If warning is issued in your area, seek shelter immediately. So let's see how many tornadoes are recorded on average each year in the U.S. And your answers are... Um... Let's see. Let's try C. Yeah! yeah. Alright. The majority of tornadoes occur in the area known as Tornado Alley, which partially includes Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois. Weather in this region offers ideal conditions for tornadoes to form, particularly during the peak season from late winter to early spring. Though most common in Tornado Alley, tornadoes have occurred in every state. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Tornadoes are measured using what system? E scale? E is the tornado! Mm. Okay, fine, it's the F scale then. Fujita. Yeah! That's a oh. lot to read. Uh, what? yeah, the. Oh, his name was Fujita. Dr. T. Theodore Fujita. That would make sense. Okay. So, there's a bunch of different ratings. There's five of them. Bravo, Cadaver Freak. Ordered your pizza. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see, the least pla safe place to seek shelter in a public place such as a theater mall during a tornado is. A I'm gonna large say. room. Oh, yeah. It's open. Yeah. yeah. Large yeah. open areas should be avoided. Lack of roof support makes these areas susceptible to collapse. Oh, I would have thought to be sucked away. <laughs> Rad. Okay, in preparation for an emergency, every family should have a tornado plan in place and this item. A party, party kit. kit. <laughs> yeah, surely that's the right answer. <laughs> a cleaning kit. Absolutely. I'm gonna say a disaster. We're just gonna clean up the mess the tornado makes. It'll be our primary job, <laughs> not to be stay safe, but to clean up the mess. And then throw a party. And then we throw a party. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, uh, Nancy on point. You grab the party kit. <laughs> and then we'll get the cleaning uh, kit. Stefan will grab the disaster kit. <laughs> Okay, so we have. Oh wait, we need to write this down. I just, I just know this. Oh, okay. I just know this. Let's see. Items from uh, basic staples to household tools to first aid kits should be included. Items such as water, sugar, salt, granola bars, batteries, flashlight, can opener, toothpaste, duct tape, and bleach. Granola bars. Uh, batteries, batteries. Flashlight. Flashlight. A can opener. Not a can't opener. Can We're positive here. Opener. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Duct tape. And bleach. Duct tape. Full recommended lists can bleach. be obtained at local emergency management offices. Red. Which of the following is not indicative of a possible tornado? A greenish looking sky. A hook echo on the Doppler radar. Downburst. Rotating clouds. Just be rain. <laughs> Difficult. 
That's a protection if you cause severe damage due to strong straight line winds. Hmm. Interesting. All of its winds flow out. Well, that's kind of interesting. I didn't know that there was a thing that did that. I mean, like, I know there's wind that just blows around everywhere, but I didn't know that, like, it would... Is it like a tornado, but, like, in reverse or something? I don't know. Cool. So, all right, on average, what percentage of tornadoes each year rank as either an EF4 or EF5? Mm -hmm. Oh, 201 plus miles per hour? That's... that's really powerful. That's very fast. I would say 1%. Yeah! The majority are EF0 or EF1. That's kind of nice. 318! <gasps> wow! How wow. would you clock that without the machine just blowing away? Like, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Alright, wow, and a lot of you guys got it right! Good job! Let's see, what causes the most injuries? Flying debris. No, everybody gets struck by lightning just all the time. That's what happens <laughs> a majority of the time, so mm -hmm. watch out. You're like, ah, it's a tornado again. I keep getting this. Struck by lightning. <laughs> Let's see. At speeds in excess of 200, yeah. Common household Yikes. objects could become deadly missiles. Deadly missiles. No kidding. Oh, that would be fun. All nice. right. You initially answered five out of eight, correct? Wonderful. Yeah. Weather oh. service alert. Yeah, it just shows things. you the uh, trivia that you just uh, looked at. So. Red. We're so Exit. good. Bravo. Woo! All right, now let's see. Can we open this door thing? Nancy, is that you? Hello? Yes, Hello? that's me. Scott wants to meet you. Be right there. Oh. Nancy Drew, you made it. Hello. I'm Scott Varnell, the person in charge of this meteorological train wreck. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Choo choo. <laughs> Did you see the tornado? What tornado? Thanks to the lousy equipment that uncle of yours stuck us with, we just spent the last hour chasing down a bunch of cumulonimbi barely capable of spawning a spring shower, let alone a tornado. Wait a minute. Did you see a tornado? Yeah. Well, yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse, it wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. Well, isn't that just peachy? <laughs> we spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? right in our own backyard. We're never gonna win this thing. The school's gonna pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's gonna be all she wrote. And it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. But now that you're here, maybe our luck will change. You'll be reporting to Debbie, but make no mistake, I call the shots around here. In fact, two things you need to do right off the bat. I gotta give a workshop on tornado preparedness at the junior high school next week, so put a sample disaster kit together for me. If anything's missing, go up the road to Mon Paws and get pa. it there. Pa, pa. Mm. Yeah, it's still showing up. It's pretty loud, huh? Oh. That's interesting. I wonder, let's see. What else would you like me to do? What else would you like me to do? Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to place them so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Hmm. Nice meeting you. <laughs> he seems like a real chipper person. Let's look through your stuff! Gone with the wind. The town says goodbye to Ma. <gasps> Knew her as Ma for more than three decades. Betsy Ox. Oxes. Oh, that's her name. I didn't realize that was her name. I never oh. saw that before. I'm writing that down. Betsy Oxes. Held her post behind the counter of Ma and Paws store. Paws. Always ready to welcome the day with a fresh oh. pot of coffee and the latest gossip. Sad. Oh, so wait, when did, does it say when it. Oh, it's not that long ago, huh? Does it say what Pa's name is? I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hurry back, Pa. We miss you. Uh, da, 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 da. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Has new warning. Nothing we can do once the storm is on the ground. Oh. 
I'm just skimming through it. Yeah. I don't see his name. I know. Scott Varnell is quoted in here, but I don't see Pa's real name. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe if Pa's... Oh, 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 there we go. If Pa's still there, then we can ask him. It was by the books. Got it. Big box O books. Let's see. Is there anything else? Can we take your speakers? Huh. Your equipment. Whoa. Yeah. It's so fancy. Very nice. Okay, let's see. What else do you have under here? What are those? What is that? I feel like that looks... Corn. Well, well. Yeah. Radio. Turn on the radio. Let's see. Anything over here that we can... Oh, oh, oh in oh. the shoes. In the shoes. In the shoes. And there's a first aid kit. Oh, wait. You can still get something else on... Oh, there's on the helmet. Yeah, on the helmet. Yay! Look at us collecting. We've now got 59 paw coins. Huzzah. That tornado you just saw. What'd you think? What do you mean? <laughs> Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? Actually, that tornado is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I can't wait to see another one. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm out of my students these days. Between you and me, the last few years I've gotten stuck with the worst students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. Mm. Before they defunded my department, I got the best of the best. Students who really cared, like Debbie. But those days are over. Oh, that must really be disappointing. What are you, like, 18? Yes. Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. I think she has. I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... That was weird. I know you meant well. Yeah. Anyway, good news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. <laughs> you may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope so. Cool. Okay. All right, good talk. Oh, hello. Nancy, hi. You've met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. You're the one who'll be giving me orders? Pretty much. First thing every morning, drop by to see me. I'll let you know what has to be done that day. Uh, Are you yeah. still in school? I just got my doctorate in meteorology from Canute wow. College. Yeah. From the day I walked into Scott's Theories of Tornado Genesis class, I was hooked. I've been on his chase team in one capacity or another ever since. Oh. Uh, you must be pretty easy going. I've just <laughs> learned how to read Scott and deal with his idiosyncrasies, that's all. Mm -hmm. Like all the equipment malfunctions we've been experiencing. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. Uh -oh. You think the problems mm. are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. <laughs> anyway. As for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Get them done. Pretty much everything he says in there, I can hear out here. He's not exactly a low talker. Neither are you. The chart you. with all the siren <laughs> stuff is in the living room. And that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the kit. If any items are missing, you can go to Mom Pa's general store up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget is very limited. And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished the filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Yay! Yeah. The sprinkler system? See, this farmhouse and the acreage it sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Hey. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I better turn it in. Wow. There must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the Twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. Yeah. Sure. When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? 
theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season, I found out the Grange needed a stage manager for the play it's putting on mm. and volunteered for the job. Well, that's cool. And soon became the sound and lighting director as well, <laughs> wow. which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm there. It sounds like you keep pretty busy. You don't even know the half of it. <laughs> We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about pa. it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. <laughs> I better get to work. Okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. Cool. Nice. We um, got chores to do. Yeah, we do. Let's check off our to-do list. Did that. Haven't done that. Done. Check. Did that. Okay. Haven't done that. All right. There it is. So let's see. Uh, let's... The warning sirens. Oh, it's in the living room. Yeah. To the left. Mm, to the left. To the left. Oh, kiddo. All right. County siren chart. Just Whoa. make sure all everybody gets to hear the sirens when they go off. Okay. Should be. Should be simple, right? <laughs> right. Uh, let's do that there. So we just have to hook all these on. We'll cut overlap all areas. I feel like it's not. Wait, let's try this one. Ah. Okay, okay. It's looking all right. Uh-oh. Oh no. Mayday! We run into a problem! Okay, wait. Let's move this one. We can't. Oh, we can't. Station. <gasps> well. Well. You're gonna go over here, and you're gonna go up here. There we go, okay, okay. Looking all right. Let's do that. Pibbin Aji, do you play junior or senior detective? Amateur or master sleuth levels? Does anybody here ever play on master, senior? We should do this right here. Too bad we can't do that. Okay, wait. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. RK, you play on senior. Nice. Yeah, the earlier games, Nancy on point, the earlier games, they're worth trying to play on senior detective because there's only a few puzzles in each one, so. always a good idea right Kalina to start out with junior when you're first playing the game mm -hmm. and then when senior when you come back and replay the game later you can play on senior because you know what's supposed to happen and so you don't need the prompts to tell you what to do next and uh, then you can be playing harder puzzles and tougher challenges mm -hmm. I personally save a save file on um, Sea of Darkness right at the lighthouse where you are doing that slider bubble color puzzle. I have it saved to Senior Detective, or Master Sleuth actually, because I just really like playing that game over and over again. Do any of you guys do that? Is there a, is there a, a mini task or a uh, puzzle that you like to have a save game for and that like, you like to replay? I've never actually thought about doing that before, but that's brilliant. Okay, right there, that's much better. 
Um, I like my Nancy Drew. You mean like other games I play on hard levels? Depends on the game. If I'm brand new to the game, I don't really know how it works or what's going to happen. I play on easier levels. Um, but there were a few, I can't remember which games they were, but there were a few video games as a kid that I chose to play on normal because easy was ah, so easy it was meant for a five-year-old to play. Like, for example, I had a Sega Genesis growing up, and there was this game called Mickey's Ultimate Challenge, where it was just like five or six big puzzles in a castle. That you, there were a lot of them were logic based, actually. Huh. And uh, if you played on the super super easy level, it was a piece of cake, and it wasn't really fun for me. So yes, I played on medium level or a harder level for that. You like that puzzle, huh, Nancy on point? That's interesting. Yeah. It's not getting everything. This is much harder than it looks. I've decided. Ah. Making cookies in Spy is pretty fun. I also really like doing the snack shop in Mornings at Waverly Academy. That's a great puzzle. Yes. Yes. Parfait puzzle is fun too. You can assemble it, but I, I like the speed challenge of assembling multi and the multitasking of assembling three or two or three orders at once in Warnings at Waverly Academy. It's kind of fun, and the all the snacks there look delicious. They do. Heating up a cookie, mm -hmm. a little toaster oven. It just it sounds. It always looks amazing. My sisters and I would do that sometimes. We would make snacks based off that game because we were just like, oh, it looks so good. Yes. Like for a while, we had, um, it was like a school fundraiser kind of thing where um, we would go sell cookie dough and stuff. And this one year we had an extra, like an extra load or whatever. And so we just decided, you know what, we're just going to make, we're going to make, um, like take that because it came in like little boxes um, and so we were just like okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna take little blobs of cookie dough from this box and then we're gonna stick them in the oven for just a little bit I and mean, it was just like it was just like one or two at a time oh yeah, yeah. Just but heating them up a bit yeah and so it was just like this is the perfect thing to go with these hot cookie dough yeah, it was so good yum it's delicious the chocolate chip cookies sound good right <laughs> so one time I did a real life kind of like not quite like the snack shop in Warnings at Waverly Academy but close enough to say it's very similar at uh, the, the state fair that we have here in Washington um, I volunteered several days for the Young Life booth and I think they had the best food in the entire of the fair because they had they had two options. They had big fat turkey legs that was barbecued or you could get uh, barbecue pulled, pulled pork sandwiches and you get a side of coleslaw, um, a drink, and a Nanaimo bar for desserts. That sounds amazing. <laughs> and I got, I, I volunteered there because one, they give you a free ticket to get into the fair so you work half the day or a third of the day, and then you just get to go and do the fair as normal. But they also fed you one meal for your service that day, which was awesome. So what I got to do was um, assemble the sandwiches. And that was super fun because when you go to the state fair, it's really busy and there's a lot of people and it keeps coming, the people keep coming and you gotta make the sandwiches really fast and wrap them up and you know, send them to the to the cashier to give it to them. So much fun. I think that was probably like the best experience I'd ever had just being at the fair. I got to do something. And I got a free meal and I got it to get in for free. So <laughs> it's a pretty sweet arrangement. Yeah. It's like free food and entrance. <laughs> I'm there. Sign me up, man. Experience a real life Nancy Drew moment like the snack shack and whack. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much better. 
Yeah, we'll take an intermission as soon as we're done um, with this puzzle. Yes, which may be a moment. Um, I think I have a few tips for you. Um, let's see, who is this? Uh, Still Jane. Uh, the streaming the older Nancy Drew games, it really helps to have two monitors, you know, two screens up, because one screen you'll have all your programs that you can control, and the other screen will be the game because it takes up the entire screen. That really helps. Um, it can be done without it, but I highly recommend doing that, getting a second screen. Dual monitors. Make you look really nerdy. <laughs> um, or really cool. And if you have an older operating system, I highly recommend using OBS Classic because it works really well with the older Nancy Drew games. It works okay with the new games too, but especially with the older Nancy Drew games. Yeah. And it helps to know what the game resolutions are. Too. For example, like the oldest, oldest Nancy Drew games are like 640 by 480 pixels. And then the newest, newest games are 10, or 1024 by 768. And then the games in between, they are like 600 by 800 or something like that. <laughs> do you want to have a go? I can, I can try. <laughs> I can try. It's harder than it looks. I'm just like placing yeah. everything it's like you would think. Let's see, so these are stationary, and yeah. I can see that. The balance of these. This one's one. the biggest one, so I'm gonna take up the one with the most amount of space here, and then I'm gonna start with the next biggest, which is probably like what, maybe maybe that one. Yeah, there's or... that one. There's like another purple one, and those ones are the biggest ones. Yeah, and uh, maybe a purple one here, and then we move oh, away. I wanted these. <laughs> Blues. That looks so Blues good. They're pretty big. Like, there's a big one here. Mm -hmm. Um, could do that. And then that's definitely a tiny space right there. Yeah. A tiny space there. Oh my goodness. And, and Look then at... we do like. Wow. <laughs> I don't remember if I did any testing for. I don't think I did any testing for this game. We'll put that there, and then we'll start working on our reds. What a pro. Um, let's see. We need one here, here, here. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Does that count? First try. Does it count? Is it good? Does it fit? I mean, it, it looks like it. It looks like everything's overlapping. Uh, do we have to ask Debbie? Hey, oh, is this maybe. work? I, I bet, yeah. What's up? Oh. I, I better get to work. work. Have fun. Well, try checking it off your list, because if, oh, it, if it'll check off idea. the list, then you've done it. Yes, you didn't say anything. Still have to do that. Really? Oh. Okay. What? What was wrong with it? It looked perfect. Do I need to swap something around? Maybe. Wait, let's see. Where Where did I mess it up? Because it looks like you overlapped it everything. right there? Uh, is it tight here? Do you guys have any idea? Oh, thank you, Princess Teresa. Thanks for hosting. Thanks for hosting. You don't think it's correct. Where do I fix it? Let's see. Check it again. The blue and green in the top left need to be switched. Okay. All right. That's okay. how it should look. That was <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That was amazing, though. That was, like, nearly That's first done. try. Okay. We're going to take a, a five-minute <laughs> intermission break, y'all. Yes. And uh, we'll be back, go get a drink refill, get a snack refill, and uh, we'll come back to playing the game. How about yeah. that? Woo! Now let's see if, we can, if, I, if I can figure out how this whole thing works here. <laughs> First we mute it.
Boom, bam. We are back. Ooh. I like how your hand looks really tiny in my screen when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I have tiny hands. <laughs> that looks really weird. Hello. That's just, that, no, that's just bizarre. That's, <laughs> oh, my goodness. How that's is that? Enough. It looks like I had a tiny Little, hand coming tiny, out of my, like, tiny hand. Oh. Okay, that looks that looks that almost looks accurate. <laughs> it was just like, like this it looks like you're trying to smack me. <laughs> oh, no, no, extended arm. Look at that. Now your arm looks like really long. And... I know. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I'm Mrs. Incredible. <gasps> oh my gosh! To an extent. Oh, together. I know. I'm easily amused. <laughs> Well, it's done, though. We do have one quick announcement before yes. we get back into playing the game. The <laughs> Trail of the Twister, the digital download for PC or Mac. No, wait. I think this is... Is this a Mac game? Yes. This one is. I think this was the first one to go to Mac. This I one? I thought yeah. Shadow of the Water's Edge was first. Mm, wait. It was... Wait. Wait. I got, a, I got a thing. There was this one and the remastered Secrets Can Kill, I believe. I believe. Uh, you're right. This was the yes. first P the first Mac. Woo! PC and Mac. Dab. Yeah. Well done. Woo! Yes, available PC and Mac. Yeah. What? What? What are we doing? <laughs> Name who? A puppet on the hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Just shouldn't like... make a jackalope puppet. <gasps> I'd be terrible at the Shit. voice. I'd be terrible. It'd be great, though, because, like, well, like... Yeah. We could always have, so like, distraught. someone, like, operating it at the same time or something. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, Tess and I would like to thank you for coming out today and watching yeah. us at the stream or something. Yeah, what would the jackalope's voice sound like? I don't know. Would it just you sound know. like yours? Because, I mean, you are a little jackalope, so. Yeah, but I feel like it needs to be a really good character. Because the jackalope, mm -hmm. he kind of looks like a boy jackalope, the way I drew him. So it would be like, hey, bro, welcome. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, bro, what up? <laughs> We need a mug and chair shirt for Amazon. Yes. yes. Let me add that to the list. That's a great idea. My infinite. And Debbie's shirt, I too, was a requested too. Huh? <laughs> um. Also, Catherine Hotchkiss, I believe you can have Little Jackalope shirt. Not her exact shirt, but like like oh, this design, right? I haven't made it yet. <gasps> like four Twitch streams ago, people were requesting that, and I still haven't gotten around to making it. Oh. Well, then... There you go. That'll be that'll be yet another T-shirt. Um, Stefan, I don't think it would be for sale. I think I would put together a crafting video on how to cut up an old sock and <laughs> stitch on um, felt ant uh, jackal antlers <laughs> and gluing on <laughs> the eyeballs. It'll probably look something like this guy, like googly eyes or something. No, <laughs> cute. Hello. <laughs> uh, yes, this is my jackal piggy bank. He's so empty cute. at the moment, but I he's all bug-eyed right now. <laughs> he's just yeah. surprised. Yeah. Can't believe his eyes. Like, oh my gosh, look at all of you watching. How yeah. crazy. Haunted. Oh yeah, you guys were mentioning my shirt. Yeah, which is yes. a um, the Captain's Cove Amusement Park logo, <laughs> which you can get on Amazon right now. You totally can. And it's also in a pop socket. Yes. So you should get it. If yeah. If you really want it, then, then get it. I was talking about something earlier. We had one announcement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got uh, Yeah, this game, as we got off on a tangent, crazy. <laughs> Trail of the Twister, PC and Mac, digital download is on sale through the end of next weekend. Not this blank weekend, but all the way through the next weekend. 25% off when you use the promo code TWITCH22. 22 is for the number that this game is. This is the 22nd Nancy Drew game. TWITCH22. 25% off. Matthew yeah. and Dwight. Is that a song? Yeah. <laughs> Fashionably fly. Woo! Paw penny a pop. Paw socket. penny pop. That's a great pop idea. Socket. Oh. That's perfect. Anything round is perfect. Yes. Paw penny pop socket. Pop socket. It's a paw penny pop socket. That's a paw penny pop socket. Say that five times fast. Get back into playing. Yeah. Again. Pop any pop socket. Pop any pop socket. What about, what about tablets, socket. Catherine Hotchkiss? Tablets include. <laughs> as in, like, a tablet that you can attach it to? I mean. You can attach it to a pop socket. You can attach it to a, a 
oh. uh, a tablet. Yeah. I was thinking. I was thinking you were saying like, do they like are, are tablets included with it since it sticks oh. on top? I was like, I mean, that that would be kind of I wish expensive. We yeah. Yeah. But it would be. Why are you looking like a little out of focus or something? I don't know. You just look out of focus. Dude. Focus, dude. Dude. Okay, that's just a little. Oh, it's in focus. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You want Suki on a pop socket? Aww. She'd make a cute pop socket. That'd be creepy. See? But, you know, some people think she's cute. She <laughs> is cute to a degree, but when she's mean, she's mean. <laughs> Where is my gameplay? Right there. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you. So wake me up. Hello, Yandema. Here you go. Welcome. Yandema, I haven't seen you in forever. Welcome. Right. We're gonna look for where's the coins. Bubbles? Oh, you mean ah! the um? Oh, you got it, got it, good. Uh, you mean Mr. Mingles? Yeah, I'm still working on the art for that for a T-shirt too. If I can get it done for a T-shirt, then we can definitely get it for a pop socket because it's smaller. Wait, you got that one? Yeah. And I, yeah, I got where, all three. Oh, you got that one too. Yeah. Um, and then the one by. Debbie? Yeah. yeah. You got that one too? Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh. We got everything in this top floor right here. Yay. Except for. Apparently, there's one more place inside the office. We might not be able to look at it right now, but. Oh. Well, wait. Or two places. Two Can places. you look at any radios in the main room? In the main room? Yeah, are there any radios? Um, there's the TV. Let's see. What's. And there's Apple. Oh, yeah, like up there. Can oh. you see that? Are you able to look at that? Yeah. yeah, that radio. No, not that. This this thing. Oh, that thing. Yeah. No, oh, maybe you can't. Okay, never mind. Oh, man. All right, what was that? Okay, cool. All right, so now we get it. Haven't done that. Okay, so now you get to put together a disaster kit. Yeah, we haven't gone outside yet. True. We should get outside more. Yeah. Let's see. Can we put together... What do we have? We have no disaster kit items, so we can come back to that. Can we take the corn stock? Surely we can use corn as part of our disaster kit. Look at that! That was amazing. It was, like, all stormy and crazy, and now it's just perfectly calm. No big deal. Sometimes it's, um like that with Washington because sometimes it'll be sunny one minute and then raining the next. That's well, totally just true. came in. Give me a hand over here, would you? Uh, sure. Where are you? you Save me a lot of time if you kindly fix oh, the LED the display car. on the dash while I fix the wiring out here. But I've never fixed an LED display <laughs> before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. Cool. Okay. What y'all looking at is the fuse board for the screen. Views are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they number from one to eight? Yeah. What you gotta do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Including diagonals? Yep. Fuse number one can't be touching fuse number mm -hmm. two, which can't be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Got that? I think so. Okay. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. With any luck, I'll be done out here about the same time. All right. With any luck. Can do. We can do. We Broke. can totally do this. A little bit of game programming. All right. We're going to do. We're going to do. The poor this. car looked like it was punctured. Trying to, you know, someone was taking a giant pen and trying to puncture it like a bajillion times. <laughs> like turning the car into Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Okay. Let's see. So one and two can't be touching. Or a diagonal from each other. Hmm. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, let's see. Six is touching eight. And touching four. Okay. Okay. And then, let's see, let's switch that and that and that. And let's see. Okay, wait. Eight's touching six and four. We're good. And one. Let's try. Um, okay, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let's try. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, wait. Eight's touching six and five. And three, one. Okay. Four is touching two. So that's a no go. Okay. Let's see. Six and four and seven and five and three. Oh, two and three. That's fine. Let's do that. No, but those are touching. So let's do. Um, maybe this one. Yeah! Yay! I did it. The screen says it's initializing. Yay! And I'm done out here. How's that for timing? Perfect timing. Perfect. You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Chase. Gopher. I ain't gonna shake your hand because my hand's kind of a mess. Again, mm -hmm. I appreciate the help. <laughs> cool. What do you do on the team? Right now, I'm fixing the car the fella you replacing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job, fixing stuff. Poor oh, Pete. I know. Pete didn't deserve it. That okay with you? Yep. I like fixing stuff, and I like keeping busy, so this here is the perfect job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about Twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, why is it like I chase? Because you chase tornadoes. Is that why they call you Chase? Because you chase tornadoes? Clever. Do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> a lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. Has been since before the day I was born. Why do you think so much equipment has been malfunctioning lately? Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person, though, Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. I like that. Hashtag poor Pete. <laughs> poor Pete. Let's see. Uh, how do you like working with Scott, the guy I'm replacing? The guy I'm replacing. What's the matter with, what his, was the car? Matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze. Should I say mm -hmm. coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Mice. mice Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a two by four in less than an hour once. Of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. <laughs> I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. <laughs> it's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never ridden bull in a buck and shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together, <laughs> I like him fine. Oh my goodness. Got this sixth sense when it comes to twisters. Six sense. Never sense. seen nothing like it. Kind of spooky sometimes. Spooky just sweet Ooh. Isn't it? Six sense. Yeah. Is there anyone on the team you don't like working with? I like working with pretty much everybody. Oh, I suppose Frosty gets on my nerves sometimes. Mostly because he likes himself so much, there seems to be little need for anyone else to go to the trouble. <laughs> but most days we get along fine. I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. Cool. Alright, so oh, you said yeah. we could what look at the bench. Oh, yeah. Modern day land rush! Last year, three men sneaked into this campus under the darkness, and the second later, a hundred-year-old statue was torn from its foundation. <gasps> Crazy. The sad reality is, as enrollment levels off, and the day-to-day -day cost of running the college rises, something's gotta give. Our decision to bring businesses onto the main campus was not popular, but it was financial necessity. I like the very last sentence it says. It says, to be perfectly honest, though, it just really wasn't the smartest idea to put Harry in front of the bike rack. That's where the bikes go. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Get out of the way. Licky-loo. Um, well, I think there's supposed to be one around here. Yeah, there's supposed to be one. Mm. On the licky-loos. On the licky-loos. Ah, yeah. There it is. Yay! Okay. What about in this section here? Can we swing from the lamp? Um. No, but if you're facing the barn uh, stall doors, there's something there. Okay. Hey, now, that's not yours. <laughs> oh. Did we just take all this stuff? Sorry, Chase. No, 
just looking at the computer that you can take, but there is some on the shelves to the left of it. <gasps> oh, you can really use a cat. Yeah. Yeah, a cat. Yuck, yuck, yuck. No, thank you. Don't you. Have that, but the other shelves right to the left oh. of it. You have to back up and. Oh, and then do that. Oh, okay, that's ours now. Oh, there's, okay, so it's like a slash. No. Like a check mark. Yeah, yes. You can't take the heat breeze or the water bottle. Okay. Oh, yeah, you missed it. I did? Now where? Back up, close up. Yeah, it should be around here somewhere. Right in there. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it, there you are. Yeah, there you go. Yay! All right, so we got that one. Great. Hang over here. Sound like pigeons are in the in the <laughs> barn. Maybe if we can give it. Oh, 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 oh. Is there anything over here? Nope. No. Okay. Ah. Go back here. Turn around. Every now and then I look for coins. Okay, there. Let's see. <laughs> it's there. Uh, ah. Nothing, no, nothing. Not there. All right. Is there anything that we can look at over here? Yeah, but probably when he's gone. Oh, okay. Okie doke. Then out we go. Let's leave and go over here. Ooh, there's a tire swing. There's some more tires. Yeah. Hey, is there like a a metagame award, like a trophy award for playing around with that for so many times. I don't know. We should test it. Every time we come past, we should uh, touch it. <laughs> Hurry, dogs! Oh, uh, there is, there is, um, if you back up one, you, you can uh, find a pop penny to the left. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. It looks like. Also, if you look toward the tires for one, too. Okay, let's back. And also, if you look up towards that. Yeah. Is it on the camera or on the sign? It's on the oh, ground. Oh, there it is. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Nothing we can do at this point. Yeah. Oh. There's Scarecrow. Hello. Little prairie dogs. Y'all are so cute. Pet prairie dogs. Oh! Oh, well, there's just like one there. <laughs> okay. It's money! Okay, wait, let's cool. see. Cool. So then looking towards the tire swing? Like here? Enjoy meeting up with your niece, Seeker of Books. Yes! Over in, in the grass up at the top left. No, just hover around, you'll find it. Could it be? Oh, maybe it's. Hello. Yeah, it's supposed to be up in this cluster of trees. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> On the tree back there. Perfect. Maybe is there one in the grass? There. So we take all of these cars. Now all the rest are along the path to the um, the house and the barns. Cool. But we should go talk to to find out. Oh, we have a GPS though, so we can find figure out where we're supposed to. Uh, go and find the uh, general store. Okay, let's see. Oops, oops, oops. Nice. nice <laughs> Alright, GPS. Whoa. That is the same sound effect that was used in Danger on Deception Island with the little lunchbox game. If any of you remember the match the pictures thing across all three screens. Yeah. Maybe. Oops, oops, oops. We're at the farmhouse. We want the books. Enter your location. If I were to read, there we go. Yeah! Okay, okay so, so straight up two blocks and turn right and then left. Okay, perfect. Alright. Tessa's driving skills! Woo! She goes careening down. Wait, no, wait, what, up one more. You got it. Yeah! Um, serpentine, serpentine! Oh, I wasn't counting, I was not paying attention, sorry. That's okay. We'll go down this way. Yeah! Woo! Ooh, that was a close <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> It's Paw, take a drink. Like it. Welcome to Mom Paws. I take it you're Paw? That's me. <laughs> That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as. 
Pa. But I'll tell you something most of them don't know. <laughs> that it's not your real name? <laughs> well, ain't you, Miss Smarty Boots. <laughs> Little Miss Gal from up north who's helping out tornado chases from the Canute. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> Not bad for an old codger, huh? Why, well, I know all sorts of stuff about you. I even know your cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's 523-555-4399. How'd you like them apples? <laughs> Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. <laughs> yeah. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. See, if something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay safe. I'm kind of your emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. Debbie, fill you in the way things work around here yet? Uh, Don't things work the way they normally do in stores? <laughs> Apparently not. Not for y'all. You can folk got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Using what? Pa pennies. Like this here. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. Oh, pa pennies. Right, go ahead and take it. Pa you can use it or keep it as a souvenir. Hey, great. Thanks. Well, cool. Just a mom pa way of saying nice to meet you. So do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I have heard tell of. <laughs> Around here, you're lucky if a tornado don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. <laughs> so you've seen a tornado? Of course I have. Pretty much everybody I know has. <laughs> you research types with all your meters and senses, <laughs> recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Watch. You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it, because it's just gone. All you can do is stand there thinking, now that ain't fair. Mm -hmm. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. Hmm. What else you Debbie? Oh my goodness. I'm so sad. I know. Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet. And all you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> so what's this play about? About this place, of course. From covered wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle. <laughs> town chef, there is first librarian. Back in those days, was no small thing to return a book late. Ooh. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Gonna be. If you're not out chasing twisters open at night, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. Aww. Aww. Oh, the well, cutest. it was nice meeting you. I was just gonna say the same thing. Y'all take care now. <laughs> you guys, you guys, we interviewed the actor who did yes. Pa's voice, and he did a phenomenal reprising role as Pa at the end of the podcast, and he was spot on. <laughs> I highly recommend it. It was like two podcasts ago. Last podcast was was Tess, and the podcast before that was Pa. So check that out. Yes. He's so okay. cute. It's just like, wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so we need a can opener. Will it be that one or the blue one? And we need duct tape, right? And that's the only option for duct tape? I think so. Buy two different blue tag items. Get a different blue tag item. Oh, oh, my oh, goodness. If okay. I were to just read. So, since we're already getting a discount by buying the only duct tape there is, let's get the blue um, hey. uh, can opener. Good thinking. Real life shopping, y'all. I love this. That's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're gonna check off that we got um, we got the can opener and we got duct tape. Okay. All right, we're gonna need bleach, which is like right next to you. Perfect. I think that's what it is. Oh, oh looky, 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 looky. We need flashlight and batteries. Um, blue tag. See now, 
See, 30% off March price for the batteries over there. Or sale $2 off March price. So, I really need to math. <laughs> okay. No mathing. Calculator. Time to math. What is, what was, how much was it? What's $6? Eight dollars, eight dollars, six dollars, six dollars. Six dollars. So the batteries are six, flashlights are eight. Hmm. Okay, the two dollar one is a better deal. So the below one. This one, yeah. Yeah, that one. All right. Great, we got batteries. Oh yeah. Okay, we need a flashlight. Oh. All right. So. Okay, wait, question, question, question. Yeah. So if we go back here, six percent off versus any, oh, any two different yellow tag items. Yeah. I was thinking it was just one. Because I was going to say, if, is, if this is $8 and the other thing was $8, I think um, this is cheaper. But then I guess, you know what? Never mind. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Okay. okay so what was this blue tag deal thing? Buy two different blue tag items. Get a different blue tag item of equal or lesser value free. So that means if we choose the, um, the blue tag Everlight on the left, mm -hmm. it should be free. Or, well, yeah, equal or lesser value for it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we, we got the, whatever the other, maybe the other thing was the other higher price, but. Yeah. Uh, we just got our blue tag deal leveled up. Okay. Sweet. So we, got, we got the flashlight now. We need granola bars, salt, sugar, and water. Oh, bleach. Oh, bleach. Okay. Dollar off, $2.30. So it's $1.30 for the one on the right. And on the left, let's buy one green tag, get a different green tag of equal or lesser value half off. I think we should do that. Yes. So we need another green tag thing for bleach, but let's check off bleach. Okay. Let's see, do we need coffee? Or, or dingbats? Oh, we need the water <laughs> that's in the cold drink section. Oh, perfect. Um, there's your green tag item. Cool. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we're down to 9.25. Okay, we got water. Water. Okay. And let's see, we need what else do we need? Salt and stuff? Uh, toothpaste, sugar, salt, and granola bars. Toothpaste? Toothpaste, the only option. Okay, great. Right. And then, toothpaste what? Sugar. And granola bars? Uh, oh. Those are the only granola bars. Okay, so it's blue. <laughs> cool. And then, oh, that's the same. Uh, salt and sugar? Salt and sugar. We just went past it. Ah! Yeah. Ah! There we go. Okay. Salt and sugar. So let's see, this was 80 cents for 90 cents. Sugar's the only option you got there, so we have to take that one. So might as well get uh, the that one, that salt. You have enough money? You got it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Um, I think that's it. Unless, unless we needed a first aid kit, was there supposed to be an extra first aid kit? around here somewhere um, that's a good question or was this counting as a first aid kit or wait where there was one already at maybe the house? at the house I don't know oh okay uh, let's check out let's see if this will work okay. I think I've got everything I need can I pay for these supplies now I suppose so <laughs> Ching. Yeah, yeah thanks sure thing cool cool all right Probably save our game. That's a good call. What should we name our saved game, you guys? Ooh. Mm. Let's see. We need something creative. We could be like. We take a look for any poppennies we've got in here that we we're supposed to. Nancy questions or something. Poppennies. Mm. Oh. Come on, Pop. Here, you think of. Uh, you think of a great name. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm going to quickly grab a couple of All right. um, paw pennies in here. Oh, good call. Because they're kind of hard to describe. <laughs> There's one up here at the light. Oh, perfect. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Miss Smarty Boots, Ma and Pa, or Pa and Ma, Storm Chaser Sleuth, Paw Pennies, just Peachy. <laughs> um, let's see. Nancy, too many questions. Yeah, I don't know. Dem tornadoes. Mm. Let's see. I don't know. Santa Paw. <laughs> Santa Paws. Santa Paws. <laughs> it's supposed to be one like right here. Um, Unless we already got it from that same angle, from that different angle. I don't know. 
Nancy the mouse catcher. Let's see. Of mice and men. Of mice and mysteries. Um. We could do. I have no idea. Let's see. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> I kind of like that one. I don't that's, know. That is a good one. Nancy loves Ned forever. I think that's a good one. Yay! Of mice and Nancy. Yeah. Of mice and Nancy. Nancy Storm Chase. Gopher Sleuth? Okay. Hmm. Mice. Yikes. Jeepers. Hmm. Coco Kringles for everyone. These are some great names, you guys. Some great save names. What about... Um... Okay, I think I found one. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Pa Tornado. What was what was Pa's name in the play? Percy? Something Percy like Rutherford. <laughs> Percy. Um, from up north. north. <laughs> that's I, a good I one. like go for a sleuth because that's kind of what describes us through the entirety of this game. Mm-hmm. What's what's wrong with that? Let's do it. Mice twister. <laughs> See, that's how that's how uh, Chase spelled it. Oh no, that not exactly. <laughs> go go first. <laughs> go people. Go for sleuth. Woo. Cool. Actually, guys, now is a good time to pause the game and pick <laughs> it up again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. You know what I just realized? What did you just realize? Percy Rutherford. Prudence Rutherford. Prudence. So Percy is the hey! male version of Prudence. That's great. Rutherford, really. <laughs> he really Gotham. enjoys talking to Prudence. She calls frequently. <laughs> says, I have some paw pennies that I found. Yeah. <laughs> she turned into a necklace. <laughs> yes. So fashionable. A beautiful like. necklace that would go perfect with my ancient artifact necklace. <laughs> we also need uh, a goodbye. Um, yes. A farewell thing. That farewell. Y'all take care now. Y'all take care. Yeah, we try to do pause boys. <laughs> I like that. We could just do that. Um, come back tomorrow, you guys. Don't forget about taking a selfie of yourself watching this Twitch yes. stream or on the YouTube version later. And share it to Facebook or our Twitter account. The keyword. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget about that. Y'all yes. come back now. Let me write that down, though, too. I'll take care. Y'all come. Is it y'all take care? What does he say? Was it y'all take care or y'all come back now? Take a quick look at him. What's going on there, Nancy? <laughs> I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. No, we'll say the other thing. <laughs> that was pretty darn quick. That was pretty darn I enjoyed quick. talking to you. <laughs> Stop by anytime. No, say the other thing. Just can't stay away, huh? <laughs> Have a good day. Don't let them canutes work you too hard. No, say the other thing. Something else I can do you for? I've enjoyed talking to you. Stop by anytime. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Just you can't can stay, stay away, huh? I'll let you get back to work. Y'all hurry back. Well, we can say that. Back. That was pretty darn quick. Good seeing you again. <laughs> Y'all hurry back. Just can't stay away, huh? Have a good day. <laughs> Stop by anytime. <laughs> Just can't stay away, huh? Good seeing you again. Y'all hurry back. Okay, so it's just gonna be y'all hurry back. Y'all. Hmm. <laughs> oh, ta hurry back. Tasha Bree, you just got your Waverly pop sockets. Awesome. Congrats. Just take pictures of it and show us, cause I, I love seeing those. Cause they're fabulous. Uh, we had a uh, so we had a we have a prize here. Yeah, we do. Wait, let me double check. Aww. Oh, if I click on that, that's not gonna work. Um, I don't think. Okay. Oh, I can still do this. This is good. I gotta check on something. <laughs> Looks like we're okay. Looks like we're in the clear to do this. Yay! It's wow. prize time. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, it's prize time. Yay! Can you see this mug? Someone's this. gonna win it. Someone's gonna win it. Celebrating 88 years of Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, her interactive exclusive <laughs> mug. We have a prize winner. This one in particular is mine because I got my name on it. We'll send you a it's clean one. Clean. <laughs> it's clean. Yeah, we'll drink out of it real quick and just be like, yeah. here you go. Yeah. Um, so we were looking for a keyword, and in our chat stream, we saw one person say I it. I know. I didn't see if there was a second one. But um, one person actually did say it. I was kind of surprised. It. I was surprised. 
Um, so the key word is Pete, yeah. as in Pete the intern. That we're replacing. That we are the replacement for as Nancy. <laughs> and we needed to give a drum roll because we have a winner right here. <gasps> I love my Nancy Drew 147. Yay! Congratulations, yeah. I love my Nancy Drew 147. You are our lucky winner today. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. I love my Nancy Drew 147. You win this mug. Not this mug, but this <laughs> mug. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what we will need from you, I love my Nancy Drew 147, is to private whisper to us. Yes. Your name and your mailing address so that we can ship the prize to you. Yeah, there you are. We see you in the chat. Oh my goodness. Yay! Yes. You're freaking out. Yay. Well, yeah, because you got a one of a kind mug. Yes, because so, well, you said like hashtag poor Pete, poor Pete <laughs> or something. Yeah. It was that funny. Was fabulous. It's been um, great. We will be giving away this prize again tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow will be a different challenge. So come back tomorrow for a chance to win the mug. Yeah. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, I think that's it. I think yeah. I think we got. Yeah, it. I think we're 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 good. <laughs> Congrats and thanks you guys again for participating. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Uh, yes. We'll continue the party again tomorrow. Yeah. What shall we go with our goodbye here? Y'all take care now. Is that? Yeah, let's just say y'all take care now. Or is it? Wait, so y'all hurry back or y'all take care now? Because that's what he's saying. Yeah. Y'all. Y'all take care. Stay now. away, huh? I'll let you get back to work. Y'all hurry back. That's what he says. Oh, y'all yes. hurry back. Okay. Huh. I like you take uh, y'all take care now. Let's just go with that, even though <laughs> it's not quite what he says, but yeah, it's close enough. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Fun. Three, two, one. Y'all take, take care, care now. now. I think next time we should do it with like suspenders. So y'all take care now. I don't Sand. have suspenders. Uh, I need to buy suspenders. That's okay. We could like. Right, let's get some music it. playing. Yeah. So thanks, guys. Goodbye. Oops. <laughs> I'm pushing buttons. All the buttons. All the buttons. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Open sesame. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Is it? OK. Is it working? Oh, no. Well, my hotkey isn't working anymore, so I'm gonna let 